hello to the world. My name is Jens Zeiger, as you might say in English. In German it is Jens Zygar. Actually the name comes from Hungarian and originally it sounds like Jens Zygar. So sound and gongs is my vision, is my profession. I'm doing this since 1984 actually. And right now we are in Hamburg in North Germany in our gong studio and my intention is to start a blog on the theme gong gong how to play actually i am personally i'm a great fan of youtube and getting uh, confrontated and getting in touch with all sorts of information from all over places and i came across some some gong scenes uh, you can find them on my playlist and some of them are really shocking and I thought, well, somehow I want to add something to it and share with you uh, all the things that I found out about gongs and sounds and effects and history and, and everything, everything, and also how to play it. So this is the purpose of, and it's the theme of the first blog edition, gong, how to play. So if you want to play a gong, you definitely need a mallet. So, this, what you can see right here, is a mallet. In German it says Schlegel. So this mallet, if you want to do it properly in a scientific way, uh, actually the, the name of the science of sound is audionic. And the audionic way to deal with the gong is to use his potential, the potential that is um, fixed with his physical dimensions and the mallet needs to be in an adequate proportion to the gong. Well, also, this is a mallet as well, and as you can see, you know, and this mallet surely will also generate sounds. Well, I could see some people when they have this being a rubber tool and they do this wailing sounds, most beautiful, exciting sounds. And but here in my gong block, I'm dealing with the proper playing of a gong. So this mallet plays the gong and you have to look at this mallet being the uh, prolong prolongation, you say, extension, extension of the body and you know the whole body is behind that mallet and you want to be sure you really hold it well. Like this is a bit difficult because it's too much weight, like this as well and here this feels very good, you know, and even this if you can do some very good body training and you know it looks like a weapon and in case this guy bin comes to your backyard, you can give him a bang. But actually, it's not supposed. This is a, a sound of peace and harmony. And usually, gong players don't do that, right? But it's a very good exercise to do. And so, hitting a gong is somehow a, a way to deal with very beautiful music that has uh, spherical aspects and it has some, uh, some concepts of holistic, uh, uh, holistic, can you say that, um, holistic attitudes and we will find out about that in one of the following gong blocks. But today it's gong how to play part one, right? So now as we have a mallet that fits right to the gong, so we somehow address the, uh, the gong in a proper way. So the basic secret is, so I'm going to unveil all the secrets about playing gongs properly. And the first secret is, if you have a gong, you will not ever play the gong in the center, as you might think, unless the gong has a bowl. This gong doesn't have a bowl, so you don't play it on the center. The best position is to play it on the 5 o'clock position or on the 7 o'clock position. It's somehow the proportion of the golden cut, which is principle of cosmic harmony and some people you know they I mean you can do what you want you know I just say that and the way I say that er, and if you play the gong in the upper part it does not resonate that nice as it would resonate when you hear it on this position and also there are different techniques so in case if you think now I, I don't want to hear the gong I don't want to hear this guy talking all the time then you better switch up this gong block because it's more about talking on gongs and you'll find many interesting clips on the, um, with my name on where I'll be playing these gongs in different positions. So, we 
decided five o'clock, seven o'clock, and now it's not that we make one hit. There is a style of playing a gong where we have just one shot, and this one shot has to do it right. But this is a very advanced technique that it won't be a matter of speaking unless, I don't know, maybe edition 12 we come to the one shot technique. So what we do is we touch the gong very little, very slightly, and it's not necessarily that one gong hit gives a sound like a bang. You know, it's about building up. It's about you know, getting very sensitive. And this is a effect that being with gong music, it evolves your sensitivity and you get much more aware of, you know, these little tones very close to the edge of the silence. So this is the place where we really want to go. And if you have, so this brings up to the next part. So what happens? We stop breathing and it's not good because we have to breathe in order to be alive and playing gongs is also the science of life, this is for sure. So we have to breathe and also we breathe out, we still do it. So there are many, many things that are really important for proper gong playing. So now we know we have the good position, we should breathe consciously in, also feel tension and then you synchronize the sound with your breathing process. All right, you know it took me years and years to get through the thing. I mean this is the first exercise that might take you some years. So I think for today also the format of YouTube limits me to 10 minutes. So I think this is the first lesson is gong how to play. I'm looking forward to talk to you again. Enjoy the sound. <laughs>